Bridgeworth. A forest of Saxon swords awaits within those walls of stone. I should consult this basin. What have you discovered? Bridgeworth swarms with guards, reinforced from the river. Word is that two of Fulke's finest oversee such matters. We should kill these leaders and burn their ships. Crippled and put to panic, their men will be in no place to join Fulke at Porchester. Frightened men look to their own interests. A good plan. I should not be seen in this area. What's all that about? No more sailing for these Saxons. Indeed. I appreciate your efforts to spare the innocent, Eivor. At least we save some lives here. One day, Saxon and Dane, Northern Britain, will live as brothers and sisters, as they do in London. I only wish the path to peace were not paved with so many skulls. We cannot choose the way the world is. Our only choice is how to face it. Eivor, forgive me. I have slain too many of my own people already. I cannot kill more. I must return to London. And you, Erke? Do you feel the same? Someone has to keep an eye on him in the big city. He would only get himself killed otherwise. We took this camp together, so I will ask no more of you. Return home, and let your friendship be a beacon to our peoples. Godspeed, Eivor. I pray you come back safe. Uh, I wonder why. 
what they will do with it. So my Jarl's corner. You seem grave. I'm thinking on the battle to come. Every conflict has a cost. I wonder who will pay this time. We are no strangers to loss, you and I. The ache of absent souls is a wound that never heals. But we may yet return your brother to your side. There is that. Fulke and her men will bear the cost today. Not us. I wish I were as sure of it as you. Uber, any advice before we begin? Advice? You need none of that now. You stand in no one's shadow, Eivor. Lofty praise from the son of Ragnar Lofbrook. It may be that one day our paws lead us to doom, Eivor. But at least we can say the footprints we left were our own. Bishop Deola. Strange to see a man of God on the battle lines. It may surprise you, but I was no stranger to horse and hunt in my younger days. It is Saxons we fight this day, Deolab. Not Britons, and not in Mercia. It is Fulke I fight. A false Christian preaching a corruption of God's word. If I can assist in her downfall, I will. Then you're welcome here, friend. You are quite the agent of chaos. Fulke's men are chasing their tails, not knowing where you will strike next. Poor Chester has neither the supplies nor the forces to keep us out now. And you have bought time for your allies to arrive. Many have come, not least the bishop here. As I promised. <laughs> As the keeper of God's word, it would be poor form if I did not keep my own. Now, if the talking is done, there's blood to be spilled. Eivor, dark news. We found a letter on one of the dead. Fulke has called for aid. Reinforcements. A Saxon army marches from Winchester. Then my men and I will ride to meet them. We will harry them every step of the way to buy you time. We may begin the assault at once, or you might wish to speak with your allies, if you've not done so already. Warm words do thaw the chill of battle fear. We march. When the sun sets on this day, Sigurd will be returned to us, and Fulke's head will be on a spike. Let us begin. left you in Canterbury? You will die today, Fulke! But your men may live if you come here to me and settle this alone. We have nothing to settle. Die on these walls if you will. It is your choice. No wall is high enough to keep me from you. Then come! Clam your brother if you can. I shall wait with him. If you would find us. You need only follow his screams. Fulke! What will the Skalds say when they speak of this day? They will say we unleashed such rampant slaughter that Odin himself stirred on his throne to watch. They will say that ravens blackened the sky to feast on Saxon dead. So raise your swords with me now, brothers and sisters. For today is the day we carve our names into legend! <laughs> and so few scores, Basim. What's your secret? I don't get hit. Aha! The simplest strategies are the best. Uh, let's go! Face us, Bullshit! Arrows coming! Oh! <laughs> 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 
and no match for no steel. Sigurd must be close. Up these stairs! Get back here and face me! God's justice awaits, coward! Sigurd was here once, no longer. Where has Fulke taken him? Is this Sigurd's blood? Still fresh. Church! Fulke must have taken him there! Come on, Basim! Face us, Fulke! Your cowardice betrays you! Stronger already. Uh, this needs the strength of two. Give me a hand. Full K. I have done all I could to help him, Ava. The rest is up to you. I'm here for you. I have you. Let me stay with him. You deal with Fulke. I'll come back for you. I promise. You cower for me, Fulke, like a rat in the dark. We are all in the dark, Ava. It is the search for the light that brings us closer to the gods. Save your babble. Death is our language now. You fight beneath the banner of ignorance, Ava. I could pull back the curtain for you, give you a glimpse of what lies beyond. I need nothing from you. This ends here. A bit to kill one with such potential. Where are your fine words now, Paladin? If you will not raise your eyes to the light, I will bury you in the dark. So you can fight after all. You meddle in matters you do not understand.
you are more like Sigurd than you know. Do you not wonder, Aver, at the things I have learned? Every word you say is madness. Sigurd is an ancient one, an archer. Nephilim, Isu, call him what you will. He is reborn. He is my brother and my Jarl, and you are mind sick. He is everything we should hope to be. Okay! Damn you to hell! Okay! You can't run from me forever! Nobody touch her. She's mine. You are too late, Haver. I have opened your brother's mind to the truth. That is my victory. And you will go with me to the grave! that understanding, that gift. You gave him pain! Yes! To awaken him! Fight. As a thresher through a field of wheat, mad one. What has she done to you? Eivor! We delayed them as long as we could. Reinforcements from Winchester have come. Get Sigurd to a boat. I'll hold them off till you're safely away. Fight well, Eivor. Find us at the settlement when you can. Archers! To the walls! And dogs! Don't they give up! Stand with me, Will! We'll turn the tide! Keep your wits about you, sir! Don't get careless now! Oh, <laughs> 
Is that the last of them? We have beaten them back for now, but without Guthrum's army, we do not have the numbers to hold this fort. We found Sigurd. That is what matters. Guthrum was hasty in his judgment, Eivor. You are fit to stand with the best of us. Go to your brother. The words of one beloved will heal him faster than herbs. I will see to matters here. May the gods guide you, Uber. Until we meet again. There is uh, one more thing. What are you doing still talking to me? Enough goodbyes. Go to Sigurd. Yes. Be well, Uber. Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice a year. What? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife, brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch Fulke do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen, what I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman Mars. I know who I am, I know my destiny, and you will not hinder me! Brother, forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, one and all. Today is a day of celebration. Our Jarl is with us. Basim, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate, but tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor. What are you doing? Where's Sigurd gone? Go, Zulin. Do 
the cemetery. His mood is dark. There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. But he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out. But... Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. And for all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand, but all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look! This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend returned to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. Seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. Greetings. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast, and when he returned he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Do you think Sigurd knows? About us? I don't think so. He would have said something. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. 
We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he is barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. 